If you need scheduled calls or scheduled appointments in your business, yet you find that a lot of times your leads or prospects may not be perfectly qualified for what you offer, and that's eating up quite a bit of the time of you or your sales staff, then conditional logic with high-level surveys could be the perfect solution for you. Creating surveys in high level is easy and using their conditional logic feature can allow you to qualify or disqualify prospects based on their answers to very specific questions. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to set one up, what the survey that I use look like, and a few of the do's and don'ts of getting the most out of these pre-qualification surveys. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it, comment if you have questions, or subscribe to my channel so you never miss a tutorial. Let's dive in. Here I am inside of my high level account and I am under the survey builder tab. So in the traditional sidebar, you're going to find that under the marketing tab titled survey builder and the new sidebar, you're going to find that under the sites tab and it will be found in that horizontal menu once you click on sites. So now I am in an existing survey that I've already created. If you want to build a brand new survey, you would simply create new survey using the green button and then pull the different fields that you would like to add. You can also add new slides, but I'm going to walk you through my existing pre-call survey so that you can see how it's done, what you may want to consider and avoid. So on this pre-call survey, I've done a couple of different things. First and foremost, I've added my picture here to make it a little bit more personal. I've also added more conversational language to also personalize it and make it a friendlier, easier experience for the person going through the survey. So on the first slide, I'm going to get all of their contact information, name, best email address, cell phone number, business name, and website URL. So now I have a second slide that I would add using the add new slide button if I were creating this from scratch. My first question outside of my contact information is going to be, what is your current monthly business revenue? So when I click on this question, you will be able to see on the right hand side that I have different options based on how someone answers. In order to do this, you need to use either a checkbox field or a single options field. So if I were going to create a brand new question like that, I would click on the custom fields tab. I would scroll all the way to the bottom, click on add custom field, and then checkbox would be right here. You can do this with radio options as well, or with the single options. Single options will be a drop down where they can only select one. Multiple options or radio buttons will allow them to select more than one typically. So I am going to click here and walk you through the logic associated with this. So with these surveys, we have three different options that are not related to our slides. One of them is going to be for submissions. What do we want to do when someone submits? So I'm going to walk you through those first so it's easier to understand the rest of these questions. When someone submits, we have the option to do a success message or open a URL. I always like to use a URL redirect. So if someone submits, they are going to be sent to my calendar page where they can actually schedule. If we use the disqualify immediately option, then I give them a success message. I don't need them to do anything else or move forward. But on disqualify after submit, which is what I use in this survey, they will be redirected to another URL that gives them a free video training, information on some of my free offerings they may benefit from, and information on some of the courses that might be a better fit. Those courses do not require a sales call, so ultimately this is to pre-qualify someone to get on the phone with myself or one of my team members, and we want to make sure that they are qualified. So after you have this set up, you can really understand which questions are going to disqualify someone, 
which questions will allow someone to submit additional information that will then qualify or disqualify them, or which questions just allow them to be immediately qualified after they submit. So now back to my slide with this conditional logic question. So if someone selects zero to 2,000 a month or 2,000 to 5,000 a month, then they are going to go to the next slide, which is titled low monthly income. Anyone who answers above that will go to slide four, which is titled target monthly revenue. So if they say that their revenue is one of those first two options, then I have another option. To help me better understand your monthly income, can you tell me which describes your situation best? So this is a single options field when you're creating that custom field. Over here, I have two options that will disqualify them after they submit the entire survey. The next will send them to this slide here. Now I'm asking them, where do you want to be? So if they say that they only are looking for another $1,000 a month or one to $3,000 a month, they are also disqualified after they submit this. If they select three to five or five to 10, we send them to slide five and everything else is sent to slides six or seven. This is the question that they would go to if they select option three or four. So if I click here, then they can actually type in more about their situation. So this is not going to automatically disqualify them, but it will allow us to get some additional info that will help us determine after they've submitted if they are in fact a good fit or if we need to follow up for some additional information before that call. Everyone else will go to slide seven and it asks them which support are you most looking for? So I have four different options based on the different offerings that we have. That'll help us understand on the call which options they think might be the best fit. It's not always what is ultimately the best fit, but it does give us some info on what they're looking for. And all of these are just going to allow them to then submit the survey. Having a pre-qualification survey before calls or appointments is very, very important to business owners who do not want to spend a lot of time or the time of their salespeople on calls that ultimately will not really be able to be closed because they were not quite ready for that call or appointment in the first place. Surveys can be used in a variety of different ways, such as survey funnels with bucket questions, or to help identify information that would be great for someone to start with if you're doing courses or coaching programs. Really, the sky is the limit when it comes to surveys, but ultimately, using the options right here for on submit, disqualify immediately, and disqualify after submit will always be very important in doing this and also using the right types of custom fields so that you can select what happens when they answer in a certain way, or as I've done on this slide, will disqualify people after they submit because they are not in fact a good fit for this call at this time. We never want to make anyone feel less than because of where they are now, which is why we want to send them to that page with free resources and information that may be a better fit for the stage of growth that they are currently in. This is what that survey looks like when it is live on my page. So I will go ahead and fill this out to show you how that looks. So it is a very seamless flow from one question to the next. So I'm gonna go through and disqualify myself so that you can see what ultimately happens after someone goes through and is not accepted. So that's the question that they select that will send them to another question asking a little bit more about their situation. So if I say I'm a startup who wants to grow but I don't have much capital right now, where this business is a side hustle and I don't need to make much, it's now going to say, where do you want to be? And I'm going to say three to 5,000. Now I'm asking them to elaborate on why it looks like their business revenue goal is lower than most that I work with 
and why they do not feel that this is achievable on their own. And what type of resources am I looking for? What type of help am I looking for? And it says, doesn't look like you're ready to book a call just yet. This video training and resources are a great next step. They can also find out about my DIY courses and systems package. So ultimately, those that would not be a good fit for what we do are simply unable to schedule, but we send them to the best next step for where they are. So as you can see, this can be a huge time saver. It can also be great to make sure that those who are not ready for the higher level services understand that and they are pointed in the direction of the ways in which you can ultimately help them that would be a better fit for their current situation. If you have any other questions about surveys or using conditional logic through surveys in high level, definitely let me know in the comments. I really look forward to showing you guys several other creative survey strategies that you can use in the coming weeks. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to never miss a video.